Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Mike Johnson, God Warrior speaker, who got money f- f- apparently from Russia funneled oh, into God his... God Warrior! Yeah, okay. Okay, did I... I mentioned this story. Uh, hundreds of people stormed into the main airport in Russia onto the landing field chanting anti-Semitic slogans and seeking passengers arriving on a flight from Tel Aviv yep. uh, from Israel because... Uh, do you feel like Putin is kind of the nexus of all evil and Hamas was just there last week? And Okay, here's Mike Johnson. Listen, we're going to move a standalone Israel funding bill this week in the House. I know uh, our colleagues, our Republican uh, colleagues in the Senate uh, have a similar measure. Mm-hmm. We believe that that is a pressing and urgent need. There, there are lots of things going on around the world uh, mm-hmm. that we have to address and we will. Uh, but right now, what's happening in Israel uh, takes the immediate attention, and I think we've got to separate that and get it through. I, mm. I believe there'll be bipartisan support for that, and I'm going to push very hard mm. for it. Of course you are, because your policy toward Putin is. Chris, who said, well, the founders told us that if we, if we didn't maintain those 18th century values, that the republic would not stand, and this is the condition we find ourselves in today. Who's the bad? Quick draw, McGraw. No, that would be uh, Speaker God Warrior, uh, Mike Johnson. I'm a God Warrior! Hmm. Yes, could you take out your organ for me? He said before entering elected office, Mike Johnson uh, praised 18th century values. Isn't that neat? 18th century. And told an audience that Americans should live by them when it comes to morality and religion. I guess everyone except for Donald Trump. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, speaking of God warriors, I know if you were uh, if, if part of the Pence Mentum, I know you're very, very, very shocked. That, uh, now, Pence. I'm leaving this campaign, mm-hmm. but let me promise you, I will never leave the fight for conservative values, and oh, okay. I will never okay. stop fighting to elect principled Republican leaders to mm. every mm. office mm. in the land. Mm. So help me God. Oh, got to get the God in there. I feel like perha- perhaps tens of people that were in that pharmacy listening to his last speech. He really was in a pharmacy. Did you see that? Well, it was he, like eight yeah. people, most of them were asleep. He couldn't even get ten people to a pizza ranch. Yeah, no, I know. Well, I did think he would hang around. I was just, that's okay. The, when you're trying to run, you know, when your base mostly wants to hang you, is, Seems like it seemed to me I'm not a campaign strategist, Chris. No. Like a little bit of a, you know, problem. Okay. Oh, is this, he, wants, he wants to speak Bible again. Good. The Bible tells us uh-huh. that there's a time for every purpose oh, under heaven. Yes, and this is traveling not across the country over the past six months. Is not a time nor I came season here to for say you. it's become clear to me. Turn, yes, turn, turn. This Everyone is not my me. time. So after much prayer and deliberation, oh dear, okay. I have decided to suspend my oh, campaign no. for president effective no. today. <laughs> Oh God! There were there were a gasp or two oh, in, the, no. in the audience. Yes. <laughs> yes, there is a season for everything, and none of them are your season. There is a time for everything, but not you. Okay. Oh, Nikki Haley had a sad. She oh, had a sad. Aww. You know, I want to first say, um, Aww, bye, Mike. Just a special point to Vice President Mike Pence. <laughs> I love him so much. He's been a good man of faith. He's been a good man of service. He has fought for America, and he has fought for Israel. And we all owe him a debt of gratitude. But do we? (laughs) Do we, Nikki? Okay. Uh, Julian Seattle says, Steph, getting my jab today, which will make me one of the 7% of Americans who have in a twisted variation on the Andy Warhol theme. We're now living in the age where if it didn't happen in the last 15 minutes, it didn't happen. Pandemic? What's this pandemic you speak of? 7% of us. 7% of us. Have it for all the new variants going on. That's I'm protected. Fantastic. Me too. Are you in the uh, firm, more firmly in the hurry up and die caucus now than you previously were? Oh hell oh, yeah. yeah! Yeah, I've I, never I, left that caucus. I think I was when the anti-vaxxers got onto. That's how why Matthew Perry died. I think that not allowing him one second of peace after the, his lifelong struggle with addiction. That I think pretty much. Yeah, those people need to drown in their own. Oh, smut. that and the person that tweeted that Fred Gutenberg, who was on the show Friday, doesn't care about dead Palestinian kids. Which he said nothing about, but that was their particular issue. They had a their, their particular bugaboo wedge in there. Yeah. Okay, Bruce in Burbank. Hello, Bruce. Welcome. Hello, Stephanie. I really enjoyed the show on TV. I'm going to watch it again today. Oh, I sexy wanted liberal. to say first oh, thank up. Pardon me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Sexyliberal.com, twenty bucks. Go ahead. Yes, yes, you must watch it. 
Uh, happy birthday, Sean. And also, call for change. Mm -hmm. Call number four change on Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have had uh, phone banks going for less, uh, several months and actually last several years as well. Uh, we are very active in calling Virginia for the House of Delegates. We are very active in calling uh, on behalf of Andy Brashear in Kentucky. Yeah. As and by the way, Carl Virginia... Said last week... Yes. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was going to say... Please. Virginia, very important. Uh, what's his name? Yunkin. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sweater Vest. Yes. He basically said, like, we got to vote for... You know, we got to get this ban on abortion going. You know, got to get rid of Democrats. I mean, it, when and people... And we got to get rid of Glenn Yunkin. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Uh, it is so very important that people, as Carl first said last week, please get out there and join the campaign. Yep, let leave everything Vocalize. on. Yeah. Uh, yep, leave everything on the field. Mooksforcarl.com, yep. by the way. Um, yeah, by the way, uh, uh, Sunday Divine tweets, what are the odds that Mike Johnson's imaginary black son used to date Tim Scott's imaginary girlfriend and that Tim Scott's imaginary girlfriend is George Santos' sister who used to date Nestor Gates and they all live in Canada? I think there's a very good chance. Uh-huh. On all of that. Oh, by the way, speaking of vaccines, I don't... Did you see this in the mainstream media? I'm going to jump ahead and answer for you. No, you didn't see this. The shingles vaccine and now other adult vaccines are now free due to, to the Inflation Reduction Act. This did not get nearly enough media attention, but it's another example of President Biden lowering costs for the American people. Free to every single That's, person in America? Well, this is what I, this is what I'm reading. I'd like to know the details of that. All right. Why don't you look into the details of that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since you're producing this week. Uh, all right. Best of luck to you. Uh, yes, I read it. Biden's wins uh, also said the shingles vaccine and now other uh, vaccines are blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that, uh, that yeah, it was part of the Inflation Reduction Act as far as I understand it. But let's get the deets, as the kids say. Kevin in D.C. Hello, Kev. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Uh, I don't know why, when I heard the news of Pence uh, quitting, I heard the song, na, 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 yeah, hey, 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 goodbye, v -vi. I yes. guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and one of the quick things, thank you, Stephanie, without you, um, I wouldn't have gone out to dinner. It's always cool to see mooks you see on Zoom and you meet them in person uh, and uh, had dinner with them earlier. Uh, the lovely people, and never would have met them without the power of the Stephanie Miller Show. So thank you for that. Thank you, Angel. Um, uh, and now, uh, no, you're the Alabaster Angel. That's, uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> but um, uh, what you might call it, Trump, uh, it's going to be interesting to me to see that when his children uh, testify against him, if you will pull the, oh, oh I don't know them, um, that, that guy at the coffee yes. boy, that's yes. the coffee girl. So many uh, coffee family. girls and boys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, what, but but seriously, will he even throw his girlfriend, uh, sorry, daughter under the bus? Did you see Neil Katyal actually on TV slipped and called, said her husband, and then she he said, yeah. "I'm sorry, father." Yeah. <laughs> was he being mean or no? He, I think he legitimately he slipped, slipped, but but it's yeah. also true. <laughs> but that's, yes. who, who who could blame him though? I yeah. mean, really? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I. That would be a spectacle to see. I mean, e even Jr. didn't treat his his uh, uh, family members the way Trump does his. Yeah. You know, so it'll be interesting to see. Yep, absolutely. All right, love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, Jeff Tiedrich said, "Hey everyone, the AR in AR-15 actually stands for who gives up what it stands for. No civilian needs to have one." Thank you, thank you, gunsplainers. Yeah. Oh, did you see uh, Lauren Bobert who d uh, likes things that goes uh, go off in her hands? She said. Uh, she said, I don't need to be lectured by people that don't even know what the, the AR and AR-15 stands for. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I believe our friend uh, Jojo from Jers, who joins us shortly, said, I'm not going to be lectured on anything by someone who thinks it's okay to give a hand in a theater full of kids. I wasn't sure if I could say, can I say handsy? Or can I say handsy? You can say handsy. Or can I say... You can't say... Job? Or can I say hand... You can't say the both whole thing? together. You can say handsy. Can I say blowsy or just handsy? I'd rather you not say blowsy. Well, I already did. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, Liam tweets, Elon does not want you to know that the Lewiston, Maine mass shooter, Robert Carr, retweeted him more often than anyone else. I believe uh, Frank Fuguzzi mentioned that earlier as well. Oh, oh, here's the tweet I was looking for several hours ago, Chris. Okay. Great. <laughs> Chris, Ron this will come as a relief to people who were listening two hours ago. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's not a different audience. Everyone sticks with me, don't they? 
Okay. Um, Ron Filipowski is the one. He said, presumably the people who said they aren't voting for Biden because of his support for Israel understand uh, that they would get the guy who basically just said Gaza would already be a parking lot by now if he was in charge. Thank you. Oh, my God. Victor Shi, our tiny baby stem cell, who you did point out, Sean Comiskey could now be his father. Technically, yes. Probably not. But he's not his father. Right. I mean, hmm? he'd be a young father. Right. But yeah. still. Okay. He, he could be like his adopted son that he adopted is only 10 years younger than him. Like Mike Johnson. Yeah. Adopted son. David Hogg could be uh, Sean's Nestor. Sure. Okay. Victor, she said, here's an idea. Every journalist who interviews, quote unquote, Speaker Mike Johnson must start by asking if he will admit Joe Biden won the 2020 election. If he refuses to answer, don't continue to interview. Cut the interview right then and there. Fascists don't deserve a national platform. There it is, my first drink of the day, Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic. Many of you know my, my story. I stopped drinking wine for three years during COVID, during the lockdown as part of a health reset. Now I drink wine in moderation, but this is an amazing new product. I've always believed in probiotics. And Z-Biotics, check this out. You drink just one of these. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. I am using this and I feel great in the morning. I don't have to worry if I have an extra glass of wine, I still feel great in the morning. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. I've always had acid reflux problems. It is this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. All I know is it works. It is Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Go to zbiotics.com/slash political voices or scan the QR code on the screen right now. <laughs> 